Let's do this. What's up guys, this is Matt, and today I have a very short 30 and 6 free for all match on the map mission. Here I'm running the gold PP90 with a silencer and the specialist strike package. This game involves a lot of hip firing, making great use of that steady aim perk. The PP90 is really my go-to SMG for maps where I know I'll be able to stay in close quarters range for a majority of the time. The silencer keeps me off the radar, and once I get all my perks thanks to the specialist package, blind eye and assassin are really going to help me be able to run around generally unnoticed. Really the only strategy I stick with in this match is trying to stay to the close quarters areas. Um, very similar to what I did in my video from last week, which was winning a free for all match with the model 1887, I'll post a link to that down in the description. Um, my goal was to control one half of the map, and I chose the side of the map with all of the tight corners. Um, when it comes to tight corners, uh, especially with a PP90, I'll take my chances with just about any enemy. Out in the open, I'd much rather find myself with an assault rifle in hand, otherwise I usually end up dead. The only regret I really had during this match, at least, was forgetting to add extended mags to the gun before the match started. Um, you'll probably notice, which has also become a common theme, I guess, in some of my commentary, that I run out of ammo a few times, and I'm pretty much forced to switch to my secondaries, as well as picking up other weapons. I know at one point I pick up a UMP, um, here's a P90, and I think I also pick up a Kimbo Scorpions at one point. And they all get me, you know, a one or two kills, so it, 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 the, the quick draw doesn't work being able to switch to different weapons very quickly. Um, my killstreaks also get me a couple kills. We'll see right here that my first Predator missile is able to pull off a double. Um, I also get a Reaper in a, in a few minutes, and that actually only gets me four kills, which really pissed me off. But the problem I was having, in this level at least, was being able to steer the Reaper through all the buildings. I thought it was a pretty wide open level, you know, there's not too many like rooftops to stop me. I thought the Reaper would be a great uh, killstreak. But I guess, at least the way I steer the Reaper, it didn't work. I kept hitting the roof of the buildings or the, the walls, and I wasn't, I wasn't getting killed. It pissed me off, but what are you going to do? Another tip, which I know I also mentioned in my video from last week, will get you the hit marker in a fight. It will get you the first hit marker in a fight, which usually ends to you winning the fight. This does work if you're not using the steady aim perk, but steady aim will really help you see it for all it's worth. If you're in a close quarter situation, start shooting first, before you aim down the sight. Hip firing doesn't work for every situation, I know. However, you move faster when you're not aiming down the sights. Even running a stalker doesn't allow you to maneuver as quickly as hip firing does. So when you enter an engagement, start firing first. Once the enemy is like directly in the middle of your screen, then aim down the sights. And from there, if you're not already on target, you're only a very small correction away from being on target. I know for some this is going to seem very obvious, but I know there's others that probably haven't thought about it. So I wanted to throw it out there. If you're the kind of player that's worried about your accuracy, then this is not a good strategy for you because you're going to end up spraying some bullets. But when it's done right, you will win a lot more of the gun on gun fights, and it will definitely be worth it. You're also going to see, um, as I pointed out last week's video, I do lay down quite a bit while I'm shooting. I just want to thank the tactical button layout for that. Um, it's not really helping me right now. This is my fail reaper. Anyway, I also wanted to say learn the maps. Know where all the blind spots are, and no potential hiding spots. Um, as much as we all hate them, people still tend to camp, especially in free-for-all matches. If you're playing another game, uh, another game type, I know it's different because camping will usually be done near an objective or in line of sight of an objective, but in free-for-all, people will just sit in any corner, the first corner that they find, and just pick off enemies as they run by. This is where a higher sensitivity and the tactical button layout will come in handy. As you go around a corner, turn and spin real quick, check, check the corner behind you, make sure there's nobody sitting there, even if it's not a known spawning spot. I don't really run into it on this map, but also in free-for-all matches, you gotta watch out for bouncing Bettys right near uh, known spawning areas because people will spawn and drop one. I also just missed a claymore here. I just ran over it. The Stalker Pro did help delay that trip. And then sadly, I run out into the open and someone picks me off. So, not that the Stalker Pro failed, but I shouldn't have died so quickly. I was very upset about that. Um... Also, I'm still trying to figure out where this guy comes from, because I get hit with a shotgun on the left, and I turn around, and I get shot from the other direction. I don't know where that guy was the whole time. 
I watched the video back a couple times. I didn't see him. But anyway, this is uh, this is it. That was the last kill. It was a 30 and 6 free for all on the map mission. Um, I want to just ask you if you have any comments or suggestions. Leave me a comment or shoot me, I don't know, an email. iu.me at hotmail.com or leave me a comment right here on YouTube. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for the time. And um, until next time.